folks, Tim That Train Guy, back again with another video for y'all. Today we're not beside CSX, we're besides the Animal Kingdom's Wildlife Express here at Animal Kingdom in the Africa section. This is the railroad they have here in Animal Kingdom. It is very cool because it actually takes you somewhere. Unlike a lot of theme park railroads that just go around the park, maybe will stop you somewhere else off in the park, this takes you to a place in the park that's only accessible by train, which is really, really, really cool and very different. What also separates this from most theme park trains is the fact that it is African themed and also English. So basically when the Imagineers came in, wanted to build this railroad, they wanted to build a railroad that fit in with everything. And everything in the Africa section here at Animal Kingdom is well used. Uh, it looks like it's lived in, looks like people live here, work here, survive here. It's great. Um, compared to a lot of other places, you know, it's all a little bit hokey. This place actually does some pretty good theming. And the trains here, when they did build them, they're like, let's make something that looks like it was built in the Victorian era and then was never maintained beyond the Victorian era. And that goes into the track and the trains. The trains, as you'll notice, are based off of British design. Some uh, 242 tank engine for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. I read the Wikipedia post on this before I left the home the house this, this afternoon. I'm not, I'm, I don't remember what firm built them, but I remember they were shipped over from England. And that uh, we actually caught something cool today. It is the uh, spare locomotive. They have three locomotives and two train sets out here. They have a red and a green locomotive, and they have a black locomotive as a spare, and there's a red and green train set. So, yeah, we caught um, the other one, the black locomotive, which is a spare, which is neat to me, because that's one I haven't seen, so it's cool. Uh, and they all have different numbers on them, and I could tell because the black one starts with a four, and the green one starts with two zeros. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, we're out here, we're having a good time, um, and I enjoy the ride, it's very rocky, it's designed to be that way, loose suspension on the cars, rails that don't really align all that well, but it's safe, it is safe, I will encounter that, it is safe out here. Alright, let's go for a ride.
Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express with service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Here, you'll discover a wide range of animal adventures. From the affection section, where you can get a close and personal with domesticated animals like goats, sheep, and more, to sneak peeks at animal care and action that are effective nutrition and science news. Also, be sure to check out the animation experience at Conservation Station, where you can learn to draw your favorite Disney characters, inspired by live animals, from one of our animators. The tradition of animals and animation reaches all the way back. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated while the train is in motion. Please remain seated. Please sit down. Thank you. Our natural world, this sense of motivation shaped his legacy. From animation to conservation to the very adventures we offer here at Disney's Animal Kingdom each and every day. As we make our way to Rafiki's Planet Watch, keep an eye out for some of the exciting wildlife we might encounter along the way, and the highly trained specialists who care for them. From ostriches and rhinos to the mighty African elephant, the species we care for here at Disney's Animal Kingdom are some of the very same animals that inspired animated classics like The Lion King, The Jungle Book, and more. Did you know Bambi was the first animated creature to bring live animals into the studio? In the 1940s, Walt Disney and his animators modeled characters from the film after the movements and natural behaviors of their real life counterparts. Even with the latest advances in computer animation, this tradition continues today as animators travel throughout the world to observe animals in their own surroundings. And that includes here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, as a reminder, everyone, for the East Planet Watch has the animation class. Learn how to draw a Disney character from one of our animators. Disney veterinarians take care of the animals here. We have a petting zoo, plus other smaller animals behind glass to look at, like spiders, snakes, and lizards, things like that. Wilderness Explorers, you can earn up to five badges while you're out here today. Now, when you're all done visiting, come on back to the train station. Trains leave every seven to ten minutes to bring you back to and around Bay Africa, where we started from. We do hope you enjoy your visit, but please, please remain seated until your train doors are open. Welcome to Rafiki's Planet Watch. We are now approaching Conservation Station at Rafiki's Planet Watch. For your safety and the safety of those around you, please sit all the way back against the bench and avoid leaving out of the rail. Remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop and please be sure to watch your children as you exit. Go well and explore. Welcome aboard the Wildlife 
Express, with service from Rafiki's Planet Watch to the village of Veronica. As you head back out into Disney's Animal Kingdom, we hope you take with you a great appreciation for the very journey that led us here. Alright, so that was our scenic ride through Animal Kingdom's backspaces. So literally, it goes behind the scenes. As you saw, we were behind the scenes, and you can see some of the animal barns that are used to store the animals while on the uh, safari. So, I like the safari ride, which is really cool. Um, I mean, real animals, you get to go see them in a truck. The original thing was to copy what Busch Gardens did and run a train through the animals. Disney decided, eh, maybe not the greatest idea for them. Okay. 
so but they still wanted to have a train in the park so they decided they'd actually have to take you somewhere which is neat but I think it's interesting might only be a steam outline but it's still cool anyway thanks for watching please share have a good day